Hi Aquarius, it's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Uh, today I'm going to be working on your general reading. All right, so this is your general reading with the past life oracle cards. Past life oracle cards is something that I use to pick up extra messages at the end of the reading. Okay, single readings for the next two months are out, um, my aqua. So if you want to go look at your singles reading, uh, and the singles readings are for those who are single, obviously. So it's a forecast for the next two months, a love forecast for the next two months for my singles or those who are newly in a relationship. So um, all 12 zodiac signs are done. Go check that out. Also, please like, share. Please like. Did I say that right? Please like, share, subscribe <laughs> to my channel, y'all. Please. You know, I love you. And I love all of my new subscribers, my old subscribers, my dedicated subscribers, um, and, and even, even those who have not subscribed. I love y'all for, for viewing and liking and, and um, even commenting once in a while. Um, thank you all for supporting the channel, honestly. Um, and on that note, I have another channel, guys, that I really would like for you to subscribe to. It's called Riley and Leonore. So some of you do know Riley um, from astrology, from the astrology videos that we do, the information astrology videos that we do for zodiac signs. So we have our own channel now. We just uploaded the first video yesterday, so go check it out. That link will be in the description box, okay? So the, the channel to the Riley and Leonore platform will be in the description box, all right? You'll see the full video there. Um, I know I left a trailer on my on my channel, but the full video is in the Riley and Leonore channel. Okay, again, the, the, the link is in the description box. All right, my lovely aquas, let's get started. Today I'm going to be using my um, Mermaid Tarot, and I'm going to clarify it with the Z Tarot. Okay, and like I said, I'm going to be using my past life oracle cards to pick up extra messages. First spread. I hope my aquas are doing well. All right. Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, the Chariot, and Two of Cups, my dolls. Wow, this is interesting energy. Um, so I have Three of Wands, Nine of Wands. They're all in the upright. That's amazing. I have the Chariot. And I have um, the Two of Cups. Look at that beautiful energy. All right. Let's see. You know, some of you have been... Some of you have been waiting for, for something with the Three of Wands. Um, with the Wands, it could represent three things. <laughs> like, and you know... For some of you, it could be, you know, finance. Um, some of you could be family. Uh, some of you could be um, a decision, a relationship, um, you know, purchase. I, I don't know. You pick the three wands. You 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 let me know what's going on. But it's it's more than one thing going on in your life that you've been waiting for or you have been working diligently in um, making it possible some of you do need to make decisions big time. I don't know what the decision, like there seems to be a decision in one of these ones more than the other two. Um, with the Nine of Cups, I do sense that a lot of you are going to be happy. This is very futuristic. Um, you know what? The Nine of Cups with the Chariot, um, Cancer Energy or Cancer Pisces Scorpio, energy very strongly here in this first spread you know you can have that in your chart you could be dealing with someone with that water placement but i i do sense like this is a very futuristic nine of cups with the chariot this is something coming towards you i don't think it's even happening yet um i don't you know i guess it depends when you view the video but you know i um I sense it has to do a lot with a connection here, um, especially when I look at my two of, I'm sorry, my chariot. Well, actually my chariot with the two of cups. 
Um, you know, again, some of you, some of you are what waiting for a connection, waiting for some type of relationship. This also could pertain to family is also what I'm hearing. Maybe you haven't seen a, you know, um, your spouse for a while, your partner for a while, and they're coming home or you're going to visit them, um, something like that. All right, let's clarify it. All right, to clarify it, I have the Knight of Swords in the reverse, Eight of Cups, the Temperance, and Knight of Wands. Very interesting. So um, everything was in the reverse except my Temperance, Sagittarius, if that means anything to you. Very strong fire placement here as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, if that means anything to you. All right, so my Knight of Swords was in the reverse. My Eight of Cups was not. Then I have here the Temperance in the reverse, and the Knight of Wands came out also in the reverse. So I have two Knights here, both in the reverse. One, one was in, in the front, and the other one was in the back of this spread, of this clarification. Um, interestingly enough, when I t even when I turn them around, they're like, you know, not, they're like going opposite of each other. You know, they're not looking at each other. It's like, you know, one was in the front, one was in the, in the back of the spread, but there's a connection, but no connection here. Um, this is, um, these are two people One could have a fire sign uh, placement. The other one could have a strong um, air placement. So another Aquarius, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, if that means anything to you. I just sense one is more bitter and jealous than the other one. I don't know if it's the Knight of Swords or the Knight of Wands. I'll tell you the truth. I don't. I just sense that these are two different energies with two different emotions. One of them is very um, bitter. I, I don't know what else to say. And I don't know if that has to do with you or, or not, but that's their energy. The other person here, the other Knight, is more... Um, quiet so i don't know who these one who these knights are knight of wand and knight of swords um i do sense that in one of you were in a relationship with one of them with the eight of cups and the temperance here um one of these knights are your ex <laughs> yeah Someone has an X here. I don't know if it's the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, vice versa, if it's vice versa, but you're not with this person anymore with the Eight of Cups. You walked away. Um, and I, you see how she's holding on to him? Like, I feel like that energy is the bitter energy. Um, I do sense also that you're not really paying attention, paying attention to this person um, in some shape, form, or other. Um, but the temperance here, this is an interesting energy. My temperance came out in the reverse. Um, this is kind of a warning. Aquas, be very careful. Um, it's a really small message. I mean, it's not going to pertain to anyone. I mean, to everyone, obviously. Somebody has like a drinking problem or some type of drug problem or addiction problem. I don't know. I, I'm sensing something that makes them violent, takes them out of their element, you know, um, takes them out of their alignment of mind, body, and soul. I don't, and again, I don't, I, I want to say it could be the bitter night whether it's a bitter, bitter night of wands or the bitter night of swords, you know, again, fire or air placement. But remember, I have a bitter night and I have a war and one that's very quiet. I don't feel like there's any, um, 
I don't, they're both in the reverse. These two knights are in the reverse. So I don't really sense them in your energy too much though, Aquas. So I just, this is just like a really small message. Like somebody here is out of control and I don't even think you know it. Um, and I don't know if that's going to affect you, um, you know, their lifestyle or their behavior because I don't see you being with any one of them, honestly. So it's a small message to be very careful with this. Um, could be a very strong Sagittarius. So it could be the Knight of Wands, for all I know. But this person, this person's not doing well, like at all. It could, again, I, I, me I mentioned X. They both could be your exes, for all I know. It's, um, or one is just, I know that you're not you're not really talking to any of these. All right, let's go to the second spread. Let's get more information. See if I could get more information. All right. So I have here, look, the Knight of Swords again. And the King of Swords. What? Knight of Swords. Six of Wands. And King of Swords. This is crazy. What the hell, Aquas? Okay. So the only one in the upright was my Six of Wands. I love that my Six of Wands was in the upright. But my Knight, my Knight of Swords and my King of Swords was not. Somebody here has a very strong, heavy, uh, strong um, water. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, well, it could be water since it came out my mouth. Um, but I was going to say air, air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or fire sign. Um, you know, you're not in this energy. This is interesting. You're not even a part of this. There's, there's something going on behind your back, Aquas, um, and, and because it's in your reading, I'm telling you right now, some of you may, may know what I'm talking about. Some of you are like, I don't know idea what you're talking about. I know I have a bitter ex, Leonore, or, you know, I'm not talking to someone right now, but there's something in the background, Aquas, that I need you to be careful with. Um, and it's, it's like an unfolding. Um, a lot has to do with words. I feel like people are talking about you. Um, and I don't It's not good words. With the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords being here, this is also like a decision. Um, and I had mentioned that in the, in the very first card that came out with the Three of Wands. Some decision that you need to make or needs to be made. Um... This is a lot of air. Oh my God. Um, this is communication. This is very strong communication and decision making that you haven't made or you need to make or it's unfolding behind your back. Um, and people are talking about it behind your back. With the six of wands in the middle of those two energies in the uprights, I love it, but this is like, this is your energy. Um, a lot of you may be in the, um, like in the limelight somehow, um, with the six of wands here, like, like you may have, um, followers, like high followers or, um, clients is what I'm looking at here. Um, students even, but, uh, you're distracted with your job, your family. Let's clarify it. So I have um, Page of uh, Cups, hmm. Ten of Wands, and the Four Swords in the Reverse. Page of Cups, Ten of Wands, and the Four Swords came out in the Reverse here. All right. Yeah, you guys are busy. You're keeping yourself busy somehow with the Ten of Wands being here. Some of you just started like a new relationship with the Page of Cups in the upright. 
someone may be um, either younger than you or you're younger than them, but you you definitely are occupied. Um, you're occupying yourself. Um, for a small group of you, it could be a teenager. You may have like, like a, a young adult or teenager um, that may be occupying your time. You know, like one of your kids, obviously, or, you know, a family member. Um, but this is a very young energy. But for a lot of you, it could be a new relationship that's um, that just formed or friendship. With the four swords in the verse, um, you know, you're ready to take action. You're ready for the world is what I'm hearing. <laughs> You're ready to take on the world with the four swords. You see how she's laying down, but it came out and came out in the um, um, in the reverse. So you know you're not resting. I keep seeing you're busy, okay? Especially especially with these two energies here in the second spread, you're busy. With the Ten of Wands and Six of Wands. Um, <clears throat> Alright, last spread. Let's see what's going on in the last spread. So I have Ace of Cups in the reverse. Eight of Swords. And Judgment. All right, Ace of Cups, Reverse, Eight of Swords, Judgment, very strong fire energy, um, as well as Scorpio, if that means anything to you. I also have, um, again, water energy and air. Um, there's somebody that wants to tell you how they feel, or you, Aquas, want to want to tell them how you feel. I feel like it could be with the page of, page of uh, cups here. Could be a water energy, could be an air energy. Um, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But like someone is not talking. Look at that. Not talking or um, in their heads. Um, the fact that the Ace of Cups is here and the Page of Cups is here and even like the Two of Cups earlier to, like was here, um, there's like a relationship being formed. Um, for some of you, I feel like it hasn't happened yet, you know, because I felt so, it felt so futuristic here with the Chariot. But um, when I mean futuristic, I mean like forecast. <laughs> I don't know. The next two to three weeks, full. I know. I don't know. But um, yeah, like someone doesn't want to talk about their feelings. But the judgment card is here. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Um, this is interesting. And it has to do with this Eight of Swords here. You know, whatever new connection you're in, um, for those who resonate with the new connection or will be resonating with this new connection, some of you, it, it really is a friend. Um, you have a past life with this person with the judgment card here. There's something awful that happened in a past life with you too. Um, I don't know if it was between you two or something that happened to both of you together. Um, you know, external factors might have been a cause of it. Like you, you guys separated, um, this is my judgment card. So something like you look at the judgment card, you know, it, it has a lot to do when I look a lot of the times when I not a lot, it really depends what cards come before and after in the energy. But I do see it as a reincarnating card because a lot of souls you'll see, you know, souls on a judgment card in tarot um, lifting up in the air 
you know, like their souls are rising. And so it reminds me of reincarnating or, um, you know, going into the spirit realm. <sighs> There's so much I could say, like even like the, the swirl here. This is, I feel like it's a galaxy. Um, I feel like maybe one of you could be a star seed. Um, or you may have a child that's a star seed. Um, I had mentioned too with like a small group of you, the page of cups was either like a teenager or a young adult that's, you know, um, a family member of yours. It could be your child. Um, Somebody that you're very close to. Um, and this could be the star seed, um, as well as your soulmate or your soul tribe in this case. Someone here is a, like you're in a, this is a soul tribe situation here with the judgment card. Um, let's clarify it. Yeah, look at that. Um, so I have uh, four cups. Queen of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. They came out all in the reverse. So again, very strong Jupiter, Sagittarius energy. I also have Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and this is, what is this? My Four Cups. All right, so they all came out in the reverse. To clarify this last spread here. So there's like some, there's something, there's some, someone, there's someone here. And you know who this is? This is, um, this is from the first spread. This energy is, uh, my first spread. Yeah. It's a continuation of the uh, clarifiers of my first spread. Remember that? <sighs> Somebody's coming back to your life. Somebody's coming back into your life. A lot of you have been waiting for someone um, that I feel um, you haven't seen in a while. Um, and a group of you, you know, it's it's a new connection. But listen, there is a small group of you that there's like an, an ex. And I had said one that's quiet. There's one that's quiet and one that's bitter. And I was just like, Aquas, you choose because I don't I don't know which one you're you need to be careful of. It could be both. It could be one of them. Oh, God, this energy is so dense. All right, so I had mentioned something about a warning. Is this a warning again? You know, I feel like some of you share um, a child with one of your, um, one of these energies here with the um, Jupiter card here, the Wheel of Fortune being here. Again, you're not with this person. They could have strong um, earth energy or water energy. Again, Sagittarius, but doesn't have to be. Um, could be fire energy, um, whatever. It could be any energy, because I see here cups, swords, pentacles, fire. Um, this person here wants to, to make amends with you. So with the four cups, the queen of pentacles and the Jupiter card here, the wheel of fortune, all in the reverse, this person is coming back to your life, right? I already said that. They, they're coming to make, like, to, to, like, build a relationship with you. 
with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Four Cups. They want a, like, a foundation with you. It's in the reverse. It's toxic. You heard me say it. It feels very dense. All right. Um, all I could say before I go into the past Oracle cards, um, you know, to recap my loves and you take whatever message resonates with you, Aquas, is that some of you are waiting for a decision or need to make a decision on something or someone. Um, there is a new energy here, my loves, um, for a lot of you, um, whether it's, you know, something that's coming towards you or something that's happening at the moment. Um, a lot of you are very busy with your jobs. Um, some of you are business owners um, with the Ten of Wands being here. And then I have um, like people talking behind your back. <laughs> Aquas, you know, vice versa if it's vice versa. Like there's, there's people that's noticing you. I don't know what you do or what you're doing, but there's people that's talking about it. Um, and then I have a soul tribe situation going on here. And I honestly feel like you have two soulmates in this energy. Um, with the judgment card and the um, wheel of fortune. For some of you, it could be your child. For some of you, it's two exes. For some of you, it's like an ex and a future partner or current partner. All right, let's go into your past life oracle cards. See what other messages I could pick up, um, especially that I saw some, you know, soul tribe situation going on here. Let's see if the message will continue. I don't know. Sometimes it's, it's not a continuation of the reading aquas. Sometimes it's a whole different thing. So let's see what we could pick up. So I have, um, look at this, spouse, didn't I say something about that? Whatever. I don't know what comes out my mouth half the time, Aquas. Spouse, leaving a travel, rewind a video. <laughs> Orphan at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is so soul tribe. Wow. Listen, there you, you, in your past life, Aquarius, you were married to someone here. I don't know. I feel like you, there's two soulmates here. For a lot of you, it's this, you know, new energy with the two of cups and the page of cups. Um, for a lot of you, it's an old energy, you know, um, coming to pay you, a, coming to pay you a visit. Um, but when I mean a visit, like, you know, reconcile with the wheel of fortune. And I don't know if this person has a very strong air or fire in their chart, but, um, you were married to one of them. This person traveled, oh my God. It's very much like the energy of the judgment here. Traveled from other realms. And you guys met in this lifetime. If it's a new energy, you will meet this soulmate. Um, I don't know why I'm sensing like you were married in the past lifetime and some of you were married to this person in this lifetime um for a small group of you um if it's a new energy you'll you're either talking about marriage plans or will get married somebody here just traveled so far to come see you wow and you could take that literally or metaphorically it applies to both 
Um, with the orphan card here, um, hmm. This is um this is very futuristic. This is not even past life. Um this is interesting. For those who are planning to have an, another baby, I don't I don't know if you know this or not aquas, but of course it's not going to apply for all of you number 1, number 2. I don't really think that you're thinking about having a baby um for a group of you you're like i'm not trying to have another baby leonore <laughs> for a small group of you you're like yeah leonore i'm actually you know been trying to you know have one or have another one um this baby that you're having comes from a very um don't be surprised if the baby has a very strong I'm picking um, Aries, Capricorn, Pisces, if this baby is has that in their chart. Interesting. Capricorn, Pisces, or Aries um, in their birth chart. It's something about their past life. Um, they come, you know, um, like exactly how you see this little girl you know, unfortunately um, neglected, you know, just dirty clothes on. She looks very hungry. She looks like somebody abandoned her. You're this star seed. I said star seed. Oh my God. This is what this is. This star seed is coming from the heavens. Um to be with you oh my god that's crazy deep wow i want to let that go <laughs> that was that went really left field um that went left field but whatever it happens all right aquas that's your reading i'm over you if you need a private reading my email is in the description box love you bye